A common way of testing chemical equilibrium is through a combination of a graph and a Schreck calculation. So here is a typical example. The question states hydrogen and iodine are injected into a closed container at a constant temperature. The reaction reaches equilibrium according to the following equation. The graph illustrates changes that were made to the equilibrium mixture. Now, as we can see here, we have at T0 equilibrium is established because the concentrations of all agents present is constant from T0 to T1. So we say from T0 to T1, this reaction is at equilibrium because the concentration is constant. We can then see at time T1, the concentration of hydrogen spikes instantaneously. This can only be explained by adding a certain amount of hydrogen into this equilibrium mixture. So what happened at time T1 is a certain amount of hydrogen gas was injected into the system. We know that Le Chatelier's principle says that we would favor the direction that undoes that change, which is why we can see the reverse reaction is favored that decreases the amount of hydrogen and iodine and increases the amount of hydrogen iodide in accordance with this reaction over here, that being the forward reaction. And then we can see from T2 onwards, once again, the concentrations remain constant, so we can say that this reaction is at equilibrium. This question then goes on to state the following. Initially, 0.3 moles of hydrogen and iodine are injected into the closed container that I've recorded here, 0.3 moles of each. And the container has a volume of 2 cubic decimeters. Equilibrium is established at 448 degrees and the constant at this temperature is 50.5. We know that equilibrium constants are only constant for a specific temperature. We are then asked to calculate the amount of hydrogen and iodine and hydrogen iodide at equilibrium. We can do this with the aid of a Schreck table. Note here that in your Schreck table you must specify that S means the start number of moles. R means the reacting number of moles, equilibrium means the number of moles at equilibrium and concentration, or C is the number of the concentration at equilibrium. So once we have filled in our values here, there is not much more that we can do. We are forced to introduce a variable. So the way we do that is we say that in order for equilibrium to be established, a certain amount of hydrogen must react. We are going to call that amount X, and it is obviously removing from the amount of hydrogen, so we say a negative amount of X reacts. The same goes for iodine. Since they react in a ratio of 1 to 1, we can say that negative X, negative 1X moles of each of these is removed. And since the ratio here is 2 to 1, that must mean that we form 2X moles of hydrogen iodide. What we can then do is we can say that at equilibrium, that means we must have 0.3 minus X moles of hydrogen, what we started with, minus what reacted, and the same for iodine, and for hydrogen iodide we started with nothing, we formed 2x moles. But we know that in order to use our equilibrium constant, we need to convert this into a concentration. We've been told that the volume is 2 cubic decimeters, which means that our concentration here is 0.3 minus x divided by 2, because we know that concentration is number of moles at equilibrium, divided by the volume which was given. Same goes for iodine, and the same goes for hydrogen iodide. And now we have a term for each concentration, and we can use our Kc expression to find our value there by substituting in all the values that we have just calculated and were given. We can say that we were given a equilibrium constant of 50.5, we substitute those terms for concentration in and we can, by doing the algebra, solve to find that x has a value of 0 0.23. What this now tells us is we can say, since we know that 0 0.23 moles of hydrogen reacted, that means that at equilibrium we must have been left with 0 0.07 moles of hydrogen, the same for iodine and two times that 0 0.23. 46 moles of hydrogen iodide and then obviously converting that into the concentration ending with a concentration of 0.23 moles per cubic decimeter 
of hydrogen iodide. So, once again, it is important for us to understand what the equilibrium constant means. And once equilibrium is established, we can safely say that those values must have been established through the reaction. Since we were not given any other information, we were forced to introduce a variable, that being x, and we would say that in the reactants, we lose an amount of x, negative x on each side, and since the ratio of hydrogen to hydrogen iodide is 1 to 2, if we lose one mole of x here, we must produce two moles of x there, and then once again, we substitute these values for concentration into our Kc, and that allows us to solve for x and then answer whatever questions follow.